Hello, everyone. This is Michael from Kendo World, and welcome to this latest installment of KED Talk. Today, we're going to be talking to Naomi Levine Ogura. Uh, she is from Iwate Prefecture in Japan. Uh, Naomi has been practicing Kendo since she was a young child, and in her high school years, attended the famous Nakamura Gakuen Girls High School, one of the strongest high schools in Japan for girls' Kendo. Uh, since graduating, she is now studying politics at Komazawa University and recently has qualified for the first time as the Iwate representative at the uh, All Japan Women's Kendo Championships, which is going to be held in just a few days' time. So I'm really excited to be able to talk to a competitor from the upcoming All Japans. Uh, Naomi, welcome to KED Talk. Hi, everyone. My name is Naomi. Please, nice to meet you. Great. So have you had a busy day today or have, have you been getting excited or nervous about this talk? I kind of nervous, but I'll, I'll try. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. Don't worry. All right. So um, as I mentioned in uh, your introduction that you uh, went to Nakamura uh, Gakuen, it's one of the strongest schools for high school, high school girls kendo mm -hmm. and uh, university. And now you're going to be in the All Japans uh, soon. But mm -hmm. before we we get on to that, let's go to the beginning. So um, when and why did you start practicing kendo? Well, I started kendo when I was six and my parents was doing also doing kendo. So I was in then I used to see the practicing kendo and and I think I wanted to try kendo. So I and I I, I think I started kendo. Okay. So you would go to the dojo just to watch them sometimes and then you became more interested? Yeah. So were they very happy when you decided to start doing kendo? Yeah, it was fun, like like first time. Mm -mm -mm. But six years old—that's uh, that's quite young, even even in Japan, I think. Mm -hmm. But my friend, um, other friends, like start like three or four years old. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> so you were first year of uh, elementary school when yes. you started. Yes. Okay, that's the same as uh, same as one of my boys, and one's a little bit older. But they started practicing with me younger than that, but not not as part of the club, just uh, mm -hmm. just on our own. Mm -hmm. And of course, your younger brother as well uh, practices kendo. Is that right? Yes. So it's the whole family of four of you are doing kendo. Yes. <laughs> I think it's it, kendo family. Uh, if I can get my wife to do kendo, that would then be the four of us. But that's uh, that's going to be a bit difficult, maybe. <laughs> All right. So you started uh, practicing kendo then when you were first grade elementary school, when you were six years old. Mm -hmm. So uh, why did you keep practicing it? Um, when I um, when I first participated, the first match. I was nervous and excited and I frustrate and then I frustrated a frustration of losing the match and started practicing hard. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. So you had a, a, a bit of a negative experience at the beginning and that made you decide to work even harder. Yes. So af after how long? Did you decide that, oh, I, I want to keep practicing kendo? When did it become like your, I suppose, your main hobby? Was that quite quick? Yes. And did you do anything else apart from kendo at, at elementary school? Um, I also did um, track and field. Yeah. Um, track and field was until ninth grade, which means junior high school, third grade. Oh, wow. So, so uh, 
we know in Japan that even junior high school kendo is pretty high standard in some schools and the club in, mm -hmm. in junior high school is very serious. But you were doing two clubs at junior high school? Yes. Wow. Um, I mean, like summer is the track and field season. season. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I... So I did track and field like morning and afternoon was kendo practice. You, so it's a pretty hard schedule. <laughs> you must have been so tired <laughs> when you were in junior high school. Yes, I was. <laughs> did you able to, uh, were you able to find time to <laughs> um, do your homework whilst doing two clubs? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, that's good. So. Was there, I've not heard of that before at the school where I work, where there's what one, one of the kendo students doing the kendo club and then also doing another sports club at the time. Mm -hmm. I think that's very rare or it's certainly not, not common. Mm -hmm. um, did being a member of the track and field club, did that help you in your kendo practice in any way? Yes, of course. Like, um, muscle and um, then legs muscles it trained a lot of me so it, it was mostly maybe gave you uh stronger legs for kendo do you think mm -hmm. and how about the what, what is it um aerobic exercise like you you san you san was, mm -hmm. that, was that good for to, to, for your fitness levels for kendo Yes. So would you say maybe you were fitter than the other students in the kendo club? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so you, you could do um, jigeko or kakari geiko for longer than uh, everyone else? Yeah, I was really tough. <laughs> oh, wow. So while you were at junior high school... Um, I what were the competitions like at the at junior high school level? Did you um, enter many school, like uh, junior high school taikai or things like that? Yes. And how was your um, competition history while you were at junior high school? Um, um, can I explain that three years of my junior high school? Yeah, sure. Um, I... Like I couldn't win well between um, first and second grade, which means seventh grade and eighth grade. And I was like frustrate, frustrated because it didn't go the way I wanted. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and even, be even before I went up to the third grade third grade um which means ninth grade <clears throat> i trained a lot and worked hard as twice as as twice as hard as others and i in the last seat in the last tournament of junior high school i was able to win the individual match and um participated the in the national tournament. Oh, so you you won the Iwate Prefecture Junior High School competition and then went to the the national competition? Yes. And how did you do in the national competition? Um it's not it it it's it didn't go well, but I think I think it, it was a good match. Okay. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so you said just a minute ago that you were training more, much more, maybe twice as much as the other members of the junior high school team. Mm -hmm. So you're obviously, you were doing your track and field training and then double the amount of kendo training as well. Mm -hmm. So what was what was kind of the the extra practice that you were doing? Was it more subari or what, yes. what exactly were you doing? Um, subari or core training. 
and running, mm, mm, mm. something like that. So you think that that gave you <clears throat> a good edge, a, a, a good uh, a good base for you to go into the junior high school champs? Yes. Great. Well, I, again, that's, you, you mentioned something like when you were talking about the elementary school, two similar things. You had a kind of bad or difficult time, but trained mm-hmm. even more, trained harder, and you were able to get success from it. So yes, I think that's a good lesson for, for anyone that's listening in or who's going to watch the video later. Mm-hmm. Um, and not just in kendo, in, in whatever it is you decide to do. It's a, it's a really good lesson. So you were then at the, this uh, the junior high school. So how did you end up, after junior high school, you went to Nakamura Girls, and Nakamura Gakuen Girls High School. Yes. Uh, how did you end up um, going to that school? Um, it was, Nakamura was a really strong strong high school in Japan, I mean, girls' high school. And it was hard to practice, and it was hard in hard in an unfamiliar environment. And also, corona, what, corona virus was started, um, also started to spread in three years. And I think, <coughs> I think it, um, I worked hard for three years while that while for a few matches, and I was really happy. Then when I was, um, I mean when I was um, compete the nationals, I was really happy and I felt a sense of accomplishment. So that must have been really hard. So c- Corona started when, when you were in your first year at high school? Um, from your second year? Second year. Oh, okay. So you had a, the regular first year. And to, it would have been towards the end of the first year when Corona started then, wasn't it? hmm So... How how did you find the the difference in training from junior high school to uh, to Nakamura? Mm, the practice was like four hours, or maybe longest was um, I think six hours. <laughs> Wow. Is, is, is that kind of usual or is that kind of a special training maybe? Um, kind of special that um, the kendo teacher and my kendo teacher was the temper was up. <laughs> <laughs> they, so he was angry about us and they, and um, he, and try to anger and practice more. Mm, mm, mm. So the, I think the longest one was six hours. Wow. I don't think I've ever done anything except working that's six <laughs> hours long. Never mind. Were, were you able to take your men off during that, that time or was it? Yes, of oh, course. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've heard at one of the other girls' high schools that uh, when the, the new recruits come in, it was three hours, I think, without taking the men off, mm-hmm. and uh, obviously it's quite hot, so they would have to drink through a through a tube uh, into a, into a, a, a sports drink bottle or something, have a straw. But mm-hmm. yeah, to to kind of get them used to the new high school training, it was I think three or four hours without taking the men off. Mm-hmm. I don't know how how people could do that. So when you when you were at junior high school, how many days a week was the kendo club at um, junior high school? At junior high school, right? Mm-hmm. Um, junior high school was three days a week, I guess. And then how about Nakamura? Nakamura is every day. <laughs> you had no off days? 
Mm, no. Um, nani? Um, not, not including a summer vacation. Oh, okay. So just regularly, you were mm -hmm. in the dojo every day mm -hmm. doing something. Wow, that the must be... weekly schedule was every Monday was weight training. And Tuesday to Friday was practice, um, practicing kendo after school. Mm -hmm. And weekend was um, practice match in Shuji. Mm -hmm. So, uh, oh, oh, I, I almost, almost forgot. Um, the Every Wednesday was team meeting. I have team meeting. So you, you'd have a team meeting before training or after training? Um, every Wednesday was like um after school. They um we we have team meeting after school, so oh. no no training. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. So, what kind of things would would the coach, the manager, talk to you about in the team meetings? Um. Um, let rest again. <laughs> it's very long. Um, um, my teacher, Kendall teacher, was told about talk about mental. Our my like trained trained in my mental side mm -hmm. and we had team meeting and I, I mean and I've been listening to the kendo teacher for a long time of like four hours I guess and then he also said about shingitai in kendo word is um, like Shingitai is which means mental technique and body. Mm -hmm. And the mental in it was trained. I trained. And I think mentality is important in any sport. Right, right. Of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's very interesting. You said uh, Shingitai. So Wednesday was kind of the, the Shin or the mind part. Yes. Monday, Thai, you were doing your body and, and mm -hmm. weight training. Mm -hmm. And so that means Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, gi or the techniques. Yes. And then Saturday Saturday and Sunday, you put all three together and go and do some uh, practice yes, matches. Yes, right. Wow, that, that's really interesting. I, I've not heard that before. In um, it's, uh, some of the other schools that I know about, it's – basically just practice most of most of the time mm -hmm. um, um yeah but the, the the system that your coach has come up with is obviously working um if i can just tell people about how strong nakamura gakuen is i just was was looking at the i knew that it was a very strong high school for girls but i didn't know it was what exactly their competition history was. Mm -hmm. I'll just have to look off, off of my notes at the moment, but uh, they've won the Inter High, which is, uh, I suppose, the most prestigious high school tournament. Mm -hmm. Won the Inter High four times, the Invitational High School Championship six times, mm -hmm. the Gyokuruki eight times, mm -hmm. Kaiseki, uh, Kaiseki um, three times. Mm -hmm. And isn't it they've won the Inter High four times in a row recently, or was that before? Before it now is six times in a row. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. So when when did Nakamura become that strong? Is it kind of recently, or like in the last ten years or so, or, or does that go back a, a much further? I'm not really sure, but but I think recently is, I think, correct. 
Wow. I mean, obviously that's a, the coach has come up with a method there and just by them, them results, it's, mm-hmm. it's fantastic the, the, what, what he's been able to get out of all the students and, and how well you've been able to work together to, to get such fantastic results. Um, we also care about winning. So I think these, um, the, these days he became like strong, strong. Right, right. He cares about a lot, a lot uh, winnings. <laughs> mm-hmm. and, and also many of the, the Nakamura Gakuen students, they go on to the All Japan Championships. It was the was it Moroka won mm-hmm. the All Japan's uh, two years ago? Two, I think two years ago. I think it was in the in the the tournament that was supposed to be in September, but got postponed until the following March because of Corona. She was uh-huh. at a major uh-huh. university, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, and didn't she fight another Nakamura student in the final? Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. can't remember. I it, it I think Yamasaki. Yeah, the the name. Yeah, the, that sounds familiar. I think. Mm-hmm. I, I suppose, think so. I suppose we should also mention that when you became a high school student, so when you were in the first grade at high school. Your mm-hmm. senpai in her final year was Senno Maika? Uh, was... no. Yeah, um, they older, uh, she's older than three years. Oh, so she left just mm-hmm. as you joined. Ah, oh, right, okay. So didn't she represent Japan while still a high school student at the, the World Championships? She was a member of the the national team in two thousand eighteen. Uh, yeah. Yes. Wow. So such a strong pedigree. <laughs> so let's go back to the training a bit then at Nakamura. So Monday is uh, you train your body doing weight training. Yes. What type of exercises would you be doing on on a Monday? Mm. Um, it's a little bit top secret, so I oh. can't tell specifically. But okay, mm-hmm. I, I I don't want you to say and, and get into trouble. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll 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 leave it at that one. <laughs> okay. So can you can you tell us anything about the regular type of high school training that the the gi part, the technique part? Technique part. Like what was it? But a, a typical training session would it be suburi and then kirikaishi and then kakari geko and then waza practice or mm-hmm. was there any set pattern to what you were doing or again is that top secret um, it's hard to tell <laughs> right okay but um, yeah important thing is like basic basic practice so so lots of kihon practice mm-hmm. kihon and after kihon next is oil like difficult mm-hmm. technique oh applied waza so applied mm-hmm. techniques so did you have a, a, any special technique any preferred technique that you that you learned while you were while you were at Nakamura, one that got much better when you got there. Mm. Mm. Men was very good before. Um, after I get I joined Nakamura. Right. My man, my. Technique was pretty better. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. So, um, what was your? So you joined as a first grade high school student. Mm-hmm. After how long did you make it into the? I suppose the first team or taking part in in the bigger competitions. Mm, I couldn't participate in 
first grade and second grade. But third grade, I got got into the team. And I was really nervous that much. Mm. And and also it's Nakamura, so it's like big, big um kanban, kanban, like um everybody's gonna be looking at you, I suppose, yeah, because yeah. you're so what was the first big tournament then that you entered? Uh, when you were a third grade student, was it the inter high or was there one before that? Um, before the inter high. And what tournament was that? It's um, Fukuoka and the prefecture. Ah, so the Fukuoka prefecture taika. If if you win that one, then you go to the inter high. Is it? Like the yes. Yosen or the qualifying tournament? Yes, just one high school. Oh, just one high school. Mm-hmm. So h- how did that go for you? Mm, um, I didn't... Um, that I didn't... I can't... I couldn't um, participate the match. So I was caught. Um, sorry, <laughs> um, I didn't get it, get in the. Oh, okay. Okay, but uh, but the team won. Uh, obviously won the Fukuoka Prefecture Championships, and then mm-hmm. then the next big one then is obviously the Inter High. Mm-hmm. So d- did you take part in the in the in the, that competition? Um actually no. <laughs> oh okay. But I was a member of the team. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I mean we should probably say that even though the team is or the, the actual team that takes part in the competition is five members, mm-hmm. but most of the teams will have seven or eight uh people, so I mean you're still even if you didn't actually enter the competition, you're still an important part of the team. Mm-hmm. And N- Nakamura won that one? Yes. Wow. How was that feeling? Um, it was great. <laughs> <laughs> it be- became top of Japan. Mm-hmm. And uh, did after winning that competition, so that's the, you know, I'd say the most prestigious high school tournament in Japan. Did you get a day off after that? Any time to relax or was it straight back yeah. into the dojo after? No, it, it was um, free time, free time. And I um, came, got, um, car came back to my house. Oh, I probably should explain, actually, yeah, that you live in, uh, or you're from Iwate Prefecture, mm-hmm. which is not too far north of Tokyo, just for, for people. It's, it is further north, north of Tokyo, but not mm-hmm. too far. But you went to uh, Nakamura High School, which is in Fukuoka, which is, apart from Okinawa, pretty much yeah. as, as far south in Japan as you can as you can go mm-hmm. but how was it living so far away from home uh, as a high school student um i got homesick for first couple months mm. but i decided to be- become like independent so were most of the other girls that were in the kendo club were they like you that had come from uh, a long way away, or were most of them from the Fukuoka area? Um, I was the far, farthest, farthest, furthest, furthest of like uh, on the team. Oh, okay. 
Mm-hmm. So r- roughly, is it maybe half the girls are not from Fukuoka that have come from somewhere else? or Yes, or is it, half of the girls was other prefecture. Okay, but you were the, you were the furthest. Mm-hmm. So I, w- I worked at um, Toingakuen in Yokohama, and that's the same um, for the boys and the girls as well, that the students are scouted from <laughs> around Japan. Mm-hmm. And we're kind of close to Tokyo. But in my first year there, one of the boys was from Hokkaido and one of them was from Okinawa. So you, they, you really couldn't have got someone from as far away as, uh, as those two boys, the complete opposite ends of Japan. And they came mm-hmm. to the middle. Um, even the boys that were from that area, from Kanagawa, Tokyo area, even they had to live in the dormitory uh, mm-hmm. with the kendo team. Was that the same for you? Even the girls that are from that area, did they all have to live in the in the school dormitory together? Yeah. Yes. There, there was at Toyin at that time. There was one boy that was literally. 10 minute bus ride away from the school, but he still had to live in the dormitory as well, Ooh. even though he was or maybe a bit further than 10 minutes. But mm-hmm. so it, you said it took you um, a couple of months to get uh, to get used to living away from your parents. Mm-hmm. How often were you able to get back to Iwate? Let's not, not think about the the COVID time where I think you all mm-hmm. went back to your hometowns anyway, but normally, normally. How, often, how often in one year would you be able to get back to Iwate? Um, Obon and Oshogatsu. Oh, we should explain that to the people that don't speak Japanese. So Obon is the kind of uh, holiday uh, period in uh, it's early August and it's the time when uh, Japanese people believe their ancestors mm-hmm. come back to visit the house. Mm-hmm. Um, so many people travel to their hometowns, and Oshogatsu is New Year's. Mm-hmm. So wow! So in in one year, just two trips back home. Yes, like um, both of of the the that days is like. Seven days or five days. Okay, that's that's not too bad, I suppose. Mm-hmm. I, I was expecting you to say three days or something. Ah, um, uh, no, no. <laughs> okay, five days or seven days. That's not too bad. But were your were your parents and the other members of your family were they able to come to Fukuoka to, uh, Fukuoka to visit you? Mm-hmm. So how often would would they be able to come to to come and see you? Um, I think they visit me like every tournament. I oh, guess. right. Mm-hmm. So I I think four times or more than four times. Hmm. Okay, that's not that's not too bad then. Mm-hmm. So I've actually I've known your dad for for many years now, and I believe there was one time he he drove from Iwate to Fukuoka. Was that right, or he drove from there to one of the um, big tournaments you were in? But it- he drove to um, Kyoto and Ishikawa three times, and and. Where is it? I think that's it. Kyoto and Ishikawa. Oh, I remember he he told me that one of the journeys was about ten hours in the car, I and mean, that's. Uh, I, I don't. Uh, yeah. I don't think I could do that. <laughs> so it, it took you, um, yeah, a couple of months then, maybe to get used to living away from your parents. Um, mm. So was the the rest of the time, the rest of the two and a half years, I guess, that you were there. You you found yourself much more independent. Yes, really. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that doesn't happen so much in England. That that kids where I'm from in England that that kids move away from home for junior high school, 
mm-hmm. uh, for sport. It does happen like for some people that are in private boarding schools and the like, but but not not so much for for sports uh, things like that that you did. Mm-hmm. So um, the final year then when you were at Nakamura, so you'd won the the team had won the Fukuoka Prefecture, the Inter High. What what about the other competitions in that year? How did Nakamura do? Did they win all of them? Yes. Wow. So what um, what were what were the other other big tournaments in that time? Um, Kyushu Taikai, Kyushu tournament. Ah, so I suppose I should just explain. So Fukuoka, where Nakamura is, is the the prefecture. Yes. Kyushu is the island which has. Fukuoka, Miyazaki, Nagasaki, Mm -hmm. and Kagoshima? Yes. So that's the big, the the island with those four prefectures. Okay, so you you won that tournament? Yes, I um, end the match, every match. Wow. All the match. That was the the Kyushu one. What, what, What about the next tournament after Kyushu Taikai? Um, after Kyushu Taikai is Inter High. Oh, okay. So Fukuoka, Kyushu, Inter High. Mm-hmm. Uh, after the Inter High, what did you go to next? Um, it's done, done, like um, end. Oh, of course. Yeah. Oh, like, so Victor Island and Nationals. So when are the uh, is the Gyokuruki? Uh, Gyokuyuki was before Inter High. Oh, that's right. Okay. But um, it didn't. Um, oh, so the in okay. when you were when you were third year student, that was cancelled then for because mm-hmm. of uh, Corona. Corona. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's too bad. That that's so bad for, and not just girls like yourself <laughs> that are in the. Kendo club, but many other sports in Japan. Where the, you know the students have worked so hard for for two years, and then because of Corona, all the big all the big tournaments are uh, cancelled. It must have been a uh, must have been pretty hard. But at least you, you know you got to do the the inter high tournament. So mm-hmm. that's the the main one, I suppose. Yeah. So. What were the the big lessons did you learn through your kendo practice at Nakamura? In things about kendo or or about mm-hmm. life in general, what's some big lessons that you learned from Nakamura? Um, I think mentality was really important for me for team so coach always said about mental like like not technique or body it's important is mental he Mm. always said that okay that's the biggest thing that that you think you learned Mm -hmm. so has that that type of mentality has that helped you outside the dojo like in your in your your daily life mm-hmm. like school day school day school days or other um other things like cleaning or doing some homework so okay mm-hmm. so after Graduating from uh, Nakamura Gakuen, uh, mm-hmm. you went or you just started just recently at Komazawa University mm-hmm. uh, in Tokyo. So again, you're living away from home, but a bit closer to your to your parents now. Mm-hmm. Um, so are you where you're studying politics? So you're obviously in the kendo club at Komazawa University. Mm-hmm. Yes. So how how did you find the the difference between Nakamura High School kendo practice and Komozawa University? 
Um, practice is not harder than Nakamura, um, which means really uh, it's it's not it, it's not easy, but it's not hard hard. So, right. but if I don't have enough practice on my own, I go for running or do core training. Okay. Oh, so that's still similar to what you were doing junior high school. You were doing the athletics and running and Nakamura, you were doing uh, Monday's core mm -hmm. training and weights. Mm -hmm. So Na Nakamura was, you had practice every day. Yes. Or Monday and Wednesday is not kendo, but related. How about mm -hmm. Komazawa University? Is it training every day? Um, every Monday is day off. And Tuesday to Sunday is practice, but but it's two just two hours. Just two hours, okay. Just two hours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so but e even on your day off, which is mm -hmm. Monday, do do most people still head to the dojo anyway? Uh, one more time, please. So m Monday is your day off. Mm -hmm. But do you or other members of the club, do you just go to the dojo anyway and do practice? I think they don't. <laughs> okay. Yeah, at, at uh, Toing Gakure, and I think, I think it was when I, uh, I, th I think it's still the same now, Thursdays used to be a day off for the high school, for the mm -hmm. high school boys anyway. But they were pretty much still all in the dojo anyway. On Thursday, mm -hmm. just doing their own, doing their own menu, whatever they wanted to study. Mm -hmm. But I think, yeah, maybe not as strict at university as uh, high school kendo. Mm -hmm. So, because of the hard experiences and the tough experiences that you had at Nakamura, just four or five hour practices and every day. Mm -hmm. You you were able to adjust kind of easily to university practice. Yes. <laughs> so, are there any other girls from from Nakamura that are at Komazawa as well? No, just me. Just you. Mm -hmm. So, do you think going to Nakamura gave you kind of a bit of an advantage when you went into that kind of at the university? Yes. Really. So you, you think I don't I don't want you to criticize the other team members of Commerce mm -hmm. Hour, but maybe you were you were fitter uh than most of the other students there, do you think? I think so. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, again, it proves that the, the system at uh Nakamura is like creating strong, strong mm -hmm. kendo girls and, and ladies in later life. Fantastic. So you are now the first first year student at the university. Mm -hmm. And as I mentioned in your introduction, you have just qualified uh, as the Iwate Prefecture representative for the upcoming Women's All Japan Kendo Championships, which is going to be in four or five days from now, I think, isn't mm -hmm. it? Five days from now? Six days uh from now, I think. Mm -hmm. like, um, I think so yeah. I'm not sure about yeah I think it's uh, we, we, I should mention we're recording this on uh, August 29th I think okay. it's September 4th I think is the, the All Japans ah uh, yes yeah so six, day, six days away six days mm -hmm. so was that your first uh, attempt at qualifying for the All Japans yes Wow, so you then won the uh, Iwate Prefecture qualifying competition. <clears throat> mm -hmm. um, it's not for the first time I went, went on the Iwate, in Iwate Prefecture. When I was junior high school, I so I won the, I won in Iwate Prefecture and went nationals. So. I think it's twice, twi twice. Oh, but because mm -hmm. you were a junior high school student, 
you couldn't go on to the all Japans. It's only from for 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 ladies. It's only from high school age onwards. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. But so, so adults nationals is for for the first time. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So since qualifying for the uh, all Japans. Mm-hmm. Um, in the dojo, have you been focusing more on shiai geiko, like shiai practice, or basic, or, or still doing your regular type of practice? Um, sometimes they, um, I have I have shiai like practice um, match and do doing like regular practice. So the, the other members of the university kendo club, are they mm-hmm. helping you out in any way for the uh, for the All Japans? Yes. So in, in what way are they, how are they helping you out? Um, like, like they teach me how to do this technique or your but not like not not body, but the core core mm, mm, mm. is a little bit um like like this, <laughs> so they're more straight. Like ah okay. So they advised me. Mm, mm, mm. So are are there in the in this upcoming uh, all Japan's are there uh, other Nakamura graduates that are in that competition? Yes, I think six or seven graduates. Wow, so six or seven out of uh, 64, 64 competitors in the All Japans and six or seven, that's, that's kind of like 10% of the graduates, uh, of the competitors are from Nakamura. Yeah. Will you be facing any of them in the first round? Um, I saw that tournament and I think second match will be, um, my senpai. Oh, okay. So if you make it to the second match, then how how many years ahead of you would, would, would she be? One year, just one year. Oh wow! Oh, so you're going to know each other I very, very well then. Okay, that was the same for um, I think it was Moroka as well. I think when she won the yes, that was year. last year. I think last year or two years ago. Two years, two years ago, I think it was. It was in the uh, yeah. Oh wow! So you're going to know each other's kendo very, very well. Mm-hmm. Um, so do you think after the match you, you, you're going to, however, however it goes, you'll be able to have a good conversation or will you talk to her before the match or you'll just be focused on, on your own matches? Uh, I'll be focused in my match. <laughs> okay. So and it, after, and it, the, after I finish the match, I will talk to other um, senpai or friends. Mm-mm-mm-mm. So I guess that your your mum and dad will be coming down to watch the tournament. Mm-hmm. Ah, but it's not. It's still not many spectators are allowed, right? I believe, mm-hmm. or only a very limited number of people can can go and watch. I think. Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, as of Corona. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, that's been. So when we've been to the last uh, the the men's all Japan's, yeah, it was only, I think only team members maybe from the mm-hmm. like one assistant and managers, but no uh, no spectators, just mm-hmm. officials and I think team members or supporters um, from the university or the mm-hmm. or the police or whatever. Fantastic. All right, so we're coming up uh, for, we've been talking for almost an hour. Okay. Um, so if anyone wants to to uh, quickly put a, a question into the chat before uh, before we finish up, that would be great. Uh, if not, we'll, we'll come to an end soon. So 
in in all of the the stages of your kendo journey um has there been anything that's what what's the biggest thing that's changed during your kendo journey mm. Mm, biggest change um when i went to nakamura was really biggest change of my life so if i didn't go to nakamura i was really regular student or no more no no more go, girl right right mm mm-hmm. but nakamura has has made you into a top level kendo mm-hmm. competitor yes okay that 15 year fifth like when i was 15 years old what that that was really biggest change of mm-hmm. my life <laughs> yeah i i couldn't imagine myself um moving away from home at uh 15 years old it was um yeah i i don't think i would have been ready for that but i i think it's it's kind of much much more different in japan than than back in england as i mentioned before um some children do go off to private boarding schools and things like that but i i don't think it's much for like you for for sports and not only kendo there's judo and swimming and many up baseball and mm-hmm. many other sports like that. Okay, well we've had no questions come in, so um Naomi, thank you uh very much for spending uh your time talking to us on this uh on this Monday evening. Uh it's been really fascinating uh insight learning about the uh the the, the kendo uh that you you studied at Nakamura Gakuen even though mm-hmm. some of it still top secret and you you can't give us too many details but i think it would <laughs> that's no problem i i don't want to get you into any trouble uh yeah i don't want your i don't want your coach coming after us at kendo world so uh, but i think it's been it's been really interesting to uh, for people that are listening to find out a bit more about the high school uh, kendo situation in japan particularly nakamura gakuen one of these ked talks we did um over a year ago now was with one of the the boys from toin gakuen so i think it's been good as well that we've been able to speak to now one of the girls from one of the the top kendo high schools um i think it was also very interesting what you said about uh shingi tai so mm-hmm. mind technique and body um so i think for people that are listening it's something that naomi said was very important at nakamura and that's obviously made her and many other girls into top level competitors uh, in japan and even gone on to the world stage in the uh, in the national team so for people listening shingi tai and uh, if you can focus on those three things uh, hopefully your kendo is going to get much stronger so naomi Uh thank you very much for speaking to us this evening. Uh, I hope you've had a good time. Have you? Thank you. Yes, I have. Oh, fantastic. Good. Uh well, best of luck uh in the upcoming All Japan Kendo Championships. Uh mm-hmm. I hope people that are watching this video and listening into this call are, are going to be supporting you uh through that championships. So once again, Naomi, thank you very much. Thank you very much.